we did basic digitizing without bringing in any images in Wilcom Hatch. Now let's try bringing in an image. So I'm going to close this out. And then I'm going to go to new because I want to create a new digitized design. And what I'm going to do is come up here to where it says artwork. And I want to insert artwork that we're going to follow along with. And then my uh, flower is on my desktop. So I'm going to bring in this multicolored flower head. So now that I have this brought in, I'm going to come up here and check the size. You should digitize your design and have it digitized at the exact size that you want this to end up being as an embroidery file. So if you want this to be a three by three, roughly three inch design, right now the picture has been imported in at six inches. That's entirely too big. You don't want to digitize it this big and then scale it down, resize the stitches. You want it to be um, the ending size of what you want it to stitch out at. So we're going to drop this down to three inches. So there we go. And then I'm going to zoom in on it. Now when you digitize, it's easier if you come up here to your zoom scale, it's easier to digitize close in because it allows you to see, you know, the nooks and crannies that you're going to be following as you trace your design. So doing it this far out, you can. It doesn't necessarily hurt anything, but to ensure accuracy, you want to make sure that it's zoomed in to about five hundred to six hundred percent so we're going to go ahead and digitize this there's one of two ways you can do it you can either hit digitize and do a circle oval to get a perfect circle thing is you have to find the center of it and make sure that you get that right and pull it out and as you see i'm off just a little bit and then uh, you can bring it down and get it into place um, and you can digitize it that way as you see it's just a little bit off but no digitizing in this instance is going to be perfect that's one way to do it or you can actually digitize the shape itself so you want to come down here and do digitize closed shape and you start uh, on the edge of it and in this instance we're doing a circle so these are curved so you left click to put the first point but then you right click to have these points curve automatically you don't want to use left click around a circle you want to um, tell Wilcom hatch that you want this to be curved stitches or have your stitches follow curve and then once you're close to it, you can just hit enter and it'll automatically fill in the circle. Now this circle up under here was black. So we're going to make sure it's selected over here. And then we're going to change the color to black so that we're following um, the pattern of the flower. Now at this point, you could go with satin stitches to Tommy to emboss your um, center of the flower. It's entirely up to you. Even a ripple would be kind of cute if you bring the stitches in a little bit closer. Um, but we're sticking with the basic and we're going to go with satin. So now that we have the center of the flower, which technically should have been the last part, but I'm going to show you how to adjust that as well. So we're going to jump ahead and go ahead and do our petals. Okay. So with the petals, this is some straight and some round so we'll talk this through let's go ahead and pick digitize closed shape because this is a closed shape that we're going to be going around and then we're going to start 
below the stitching of this because we don't want uh, we want to make sure there are no gaps in the embroidery and when it stitches out so we're going to start a little bit in I'm going to left click to put the first point and as you notice it's going straight up so I don't right click I'm just going to leave it left click and come up straight and as you see how your line lights up and then when you come perfectly straight it disappears that helps you make sure that your lines are straight. So I'm going to put a left click here for the straight line. And now that I'm going around a curve, I'm going to start doing right click. Right click around the curve. Right click here. Right click here. Right click here. Now in this point, this is straight down to a V and this is straight up to a V. So I'm going to left click here to make it go straight down to the V left click here to go straight up out of the V and then start back with right clicks. Right clicks all the way around and as you see the screen kind of scrolls for you so that you don't really have to worry about that. And now I'm going to right click at the end of the curve and then come straight down and left click here inside the flower. And as you see, it kind of like curved a little bit. So say I don't like that. I'm going to hit backspace on my keyboard and delete the last stitch that I did. And then I'm going to delete the last curve that I did. And this time I'm going to put a curve here. Right click. Then I'm going to left click right here so that I can make sure that this comes out straight like I wanted to. And then I'm going to left click. To make a straight line so learning the curves and how and when to do your curves and your straight lines is a little tricky um, but i suggest taking your time and playing with it with some curved straight designs to follow and then you'll get comfortable with it so now that we have this i'm going to make sure that it comes around here and curves along with the round of this flower bud in the middle so that we can get it to stitch out just below the edge of this. So I'm going to go with this curve. So that means right clicking. So I'm going to right click here, right click here, right click here, right click here, and then hit enter. And notice it did an outline. That's not what I wanted. And this is why look, I digitized open shape. I don't remember selecting that. So what we're going to do is take this. We're going to delete it because that's not right. Unfortunately, then we're going to do digitize close shape again, select this and we don't want it to be an outline. We want to fill this in with blue and you can also ahead of time, which I've neglected to mention is come down here and select your color ahead of time before actually digitizing it. So we have the Tommy, which is what I want. We have it filled in, which is what I want. We have the color blue, which is what I want. So now we're going to start inside that black, do our straight line. Click there. Left click was there. Now it's right click, right click, right click, right click, right click, left click to go straight, left click to come up out of that, then right click. Right click, right, 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 left. So because I want it to start going straight. And now I'll go left click. And now I'll go right click to go around this. Right click, right click. And now I'll hit enter. And now it fills it in automatically blue because that was the color that I chose. Now we can make life easier on ourselves to do the rest of this flower by duplicating what we just did because we know all of these are the same color so we're going to go to duplicate and you can duplicate with offset by doing more than one but that's an advanced um process so we're not going to go over that just yet so we're going to click on duplicate and notice over here in the resequence it automatically popped up another blue flower because I told it to duplicate it exactly the way it was. 
So what I'm going to do is bring this one over and then I'm going to rotate it right here by 15 degrees increments. Whoop, grab the wrong one. And it's almost there, so I'm going to rotate it a little more and bring it in. And there we have a perfect fit. So this was a different color down here. I believe it was this light blue color. So now we're going to duplicate that one. As you see, it brought it here. So we're going to move this one down. We're going to rotate this one. One, two, three. Yeah, four, I think is a good number. Let's check it. And it is. So we're going to make this green. Actually, I'm going to do this green. And now we need the yellow one. So we're going to duplicate that one. Move it over. One, two, three, four looks to be a common rotation that they're using. So now that we have this here we're going to turn this one yellow so on and so forth keep duplicating which was up here rotate it i'm going to actually turn this one red then move it and now we're going to duplicate it for the final one turn it to this pink Move it, rotate it. And here we have our completed flower. Okay, so what I want though is for this to be over the top of these. Whereas right now, these will, this will stitch out first, then these will stitch. But I want this button to be on top. So what I'll do is come over here to the resequence tab, which is over here. If it's hiding from you and you don't see it, it's over here. My threads, design overview and resequence. So you touch that and here's the circle. So in order for this to stitch on top of these, then this has to stitch after these, right? So one of two things you can do, you can take this black dot and just click on it and drag it down to the very bottom. And now you see it pops on top of these other flowers, petals. Or we could have taken this and down here you'll see top. So that put it back up at the top, bottom, or you can do one step at a time. See how it's filling in and tucking those petals behind each step. So that's another way to do that. And here we digitized a really cute flower, three inches, to stitch out on whatever we wish. So you will come up here to file and you will save the design as. Um, and we're going to say that this is flower. And then save this, but it saves it as an embroidery file, meaning you can come back and you can edit this however you want, but this is not a file that will stitch out on the brother machine. So in order to get it to stitch to the brother, you have to go to file and export design. And when you export it, it's going to remember what you saved it as in the EMB file and name the PES file the same way. And if it's not listed as PES, just select it from your drop down menu and then change it to flower and then you hit save. So now you can go back in that folder and you can drag and drop your flower PES, which is down here. I should have picked a less full folder, but here's your EMB file. And here is your PES file and you just drag and drop this over to whatever file jump drive or however you have your um, designs set up and it'll stitch out just like that. So that's the flower and how you can do a simple digitized design.